guys, welcome back to Triple Rustic Designs. In this video, my friend Madison's helping me cut some dimensional lumber on the sawmill. Check it out. Today we're here at the shop and we have some orders to fill. So I have a 16 foot pine log up on the mill. We're gonna cut some four by fours and two by eights. And I have my friend Matt's in here to help me. And while we cut this log, I'm gonna show her the ropes of the sawmill and teach her a couple things. Let's do it. <laughs> So we have our log up on the mill. We're gonna drop this down to our first cut at probably 15 inches. And then I'll cut off the top part of all that bark. And we wanna make sure that that's not gonna hit any of the guides or the, or the log. So we have that set. And then once I turn on, start it, I'll engage some of the water to keep the, the blade wet and then we'll send it. Cool. stay over here I'll head down here and we're just gonna push it off the cut we just made we'll just push it off the, the log okay. yeah there we go before we flip the log we'll do one more one inch cut just to get another thin layer off the top and then we'll go ahead and flip it and do all our cuts
right, now we'll, we'll pull that, cut off the log if you want to head down there. Okay. And we'll just grab it on oh, the ends. <laughs> and slide it towards you, grab it, and then we'll put it on the ground. What? <laughs> Why can't, wait, give me, <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> oh, now it is. There okay. you go, okay. okay. You gotta get it going. Okay, now we need to flip the log to make our next cut, so we'll just call in some cheap labor. All right, while we wait for the guys to come up here, we'll just take the log clamps off for them. So what we do is just twist it away from you, and then they'll, they'll fall off. So if you wanna get that one down there. Yeah, just turn it. And this way they'll be able to flip the log. So now that they flipped over the log, we have to clamp it back down and we just pretty much put the clamps on the same way we took them off. Okay. So we'll grab, to adjust it, grab it at the bottom to push and pull it. And then put this thing and stick it into the side of the log. Yeah, push it from the bottom there. Push the bottom there. Oh, okay, yeah, there got, you it. got it. And then, yeah, and then so tighten it. How tight? Oh, pretty tight. Yeah, just so it's not sticking up in the... Oh, okay. Alright, so we're ready for our next cut. We'll probably do it at... Do it at 10 inches. That will cut, cut off that the top part and match at the bottom.
So like the first time, we'll just push this piece right off. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh, this is, I know this. It's not moving. It's like when she goes, mine doesn't. Oh. <laughs> this pine's impossible. <laughs> okay, this piece is definitely heavier than the last one, but I think we almost got it. There we go. Woo! Okay. There we go. That was not moving. I need like... <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, that cut was perfect. We're gonna get the guys back over here so they can flip it, the log for us again and then we'll make our next cut. Oh, let's get the log clamps for them before they get over here. So what they're doing now is they're going to position, they're going to turn the log and position it so it's 90 degrees to the bed of the mill, and they'll use a speed square to make sure that the angle's perfect. All right, time to make our next cut. Looks like our next cut will be at 13 inches. All right, so we'll do the same thing as last time. We'll just shove it off. Okay, that was a, another really good cut. We have to flip the log one more time, so we'll bring the helpers back in, and then we'll cut the rest into dimensional lumber. <laughs> All right, so now we'll clamp down the log as it is now. But this is a little bit different. There's these 
divots on the, the pokey things. Ooh. We'll put that on the bottom so that the corner oh, okay. goes what you're saying. there and then we'll clamp it down that way, yeah. Like this? Yeah, but there's gonna be a little divot in that thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right okay. there. Oh shoot, hang on. No, that's wrong, right? Yeah, oh, okay, cool. We'll do another cut. This one's gonna be we'll do this one at ten. And then once this cut is done, we can start cutting the lumber. Actually, I'm gonna drop it down to nine and a half just so it can clear this low end over here. this last one off and then we'll start cutting those boards. Now we have this nice 10 by 10 post and we'll start cutting all of our lumber out of it. Now we will drop it down to seven and a half to make our first lumber cut. So I'll do this first cut if you want to do the second cut. Sure. All right.
won't push that, that board off, you can just leave that on there as is, and we'll just make our next cut under that. Okay. So what we'll do is push this up forward. forward. We're gonna drop it down. They're gonna be two inch thick boards, so we'll drop this down to five and a half. There we go. We want to make sure there's no obstructions on either either end of this right here. Mm -hmm. Push that in a little bit. So I'll get this all set up and I'll get it cranked up and then you can engage it and walk beside it and make sure it runs smoothly, all right? Got it. So that looked like it ran pretty smoothly. What do you think about your first time running the sawmill? I feel like it was pretty hard to start it, but then after that it went really smoothly. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want to do it again or you want me to take over? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do our next cut at four inches and that'll give us our four by fours on the bottom and then we'll take off the top and have our four by four cuts.
All right, we'll push these boards off onto the forks and then we'll flip the log that we have at the bottom and do our final four by four cuts. I'm just going to back the tractor up to get these boards out of the way and then we'll do our last cut. Right, we're going to take the log clamps back off and then we'll flip the board for the last time. So we have to flip it up like this so it's tall ways. We'll push it in a little bit, grab it, and then pull it towards us. Wait, what? and then pull it all the way towards you so it's against the rails. Is that good? Yep. Cool. And then we'll clamp it in. With that same? Yeah, with okay. the same little divot thing. Oh, shoot. All right, so right now the log's at 10 inches high. We'll drop it at eight. We'll do a cut there and get our two by four, and then we'll drop it down to four to get two four by fours. Okay.
All right, good job on that last cut. We're gonna take the boards and stack them right here. So if you wanna go over there, grab that two by four and I'll grab these over here. Cool. Yeah, that top one. Put it yeah. All right, so now we'll take the log clamps off and take these four by fours and put them with the rest of the wood. Drop it on three. Okay. One, two, three. There. Cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Mass and I got some really nice lumber out of that log. I think the customer is going to be very happy. And I like hearing from you guys. Drop a comment below. What do you think of this video? And what was your favorite part? If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Also, make sure you follow Madison and I on Instagram. You'll find a link in the description below. We'll see you next time.